think with this competitive season that we will see her name coming more and more forward. She begins very, very well with a head spring step out with just a tiny bobble and an aggressive jump half turn. The thing that's nice about Michelle's routine is that everything's hard. Back spring, tuck back somersault, and uh, she just nailed it. It's really nice. The required full turn, and she gets by it with very little trouble. That's an aerial cartwheel immediately into a back handspring, a teensy little balance error at the end, but again, a very difficult trick. The judges are going to like it. That's the first thing that she's done, Dick, that wasn't too well done. That was supposed to have been a switch leg leap. The timing was off, caused the bobble, and it was heavy. Another full turn. Another full turn. She doesn't need to do that. She's doing more than she needs. And that's a nice thing to see. Is she smooth enough on the beam? She is going to grow, I hope, in artistry. She still needs a lot of that kind of development, feet, uh, thigh positions. Another beautiful jump half turn, and that's her biggest disaster so far. The judges will have to deduct at least two, maybe three tenths of a point. It was a big bobble. Very nice aerial walkover. She almost has nerves of steel. I've been watching her just in the last couple years. No matter what seems to go wrong, she can come right back and do the next trick just the way she has it planned. She'll be setting up here, I think, yes, for her dismount. Ground off, double twist, a little low, legs crossed, hop on the landing. It's not a perfect routine, but it's a gallant exercise for a newcomer. Warwick, some balance team, best events for young Michelle Goodwin, who was third in the Junior Nationals last year and first, as we said, Junior Olympics two years ago. We're taking a closer look at what I think is her nicest part, back handspring where she steps down to tuck back somersault, good form, and just straight and on the balance beam so well. Keep in mind, Michelle was tied for second place. And you see her score now and her total. All right, here's Kathy Johnson, the veteran from Atlanta, 21 years old. She has won the one it all in Nutrudo. She sure has. And Balance Beam is an event that she has very strong feelings about. She doesn't just want to please the judges. She also wants to please Kathy Johnson. She needs a 9-5 to take the lead. And she's very capable of that. If she happened to get everything together, she's almost capable of a 10. Back walk over to two layout back somersaults in succession. I've never seen Kathy compete that. It was super, except for the bobble at the end. That will cost her probably two tenths of a point. And here we can see the difference between Michelle Goodwin and Kathy Johnson and Kathy's elegance and her command of the situation. That's the kind of growing that Michelle has to do yet. Round up, tuck back, somersault, very hard movement, small bobble again, again, a tenth deduction. And a little balance problem there, and all these little places are going to add up, Dick, in the end. A very pretty full turn, again, a little off in timing, so she can't bring it smoothly to the second one, so again, we have a slight balance loss. Nice job on her handstand, and here she'll be swinging for extension roll. They're off to the side, but Kathy is a veteran, and she pulls it right back into the middle, and things are still going well. When you take your eyes off the beam like Kathy just did, it's about the hardest thing you can do. This sequence is my favorite, Dick, because she does two hard jumps in a series to back handspring, and behind her is empty space. If you make a mistake, you can fall off the end of the beam. And here, she'll be setting up for a dismount. It'll be the same as Michelle Goodwin's round off double twist, but we can see it was higher, better form. She still had a little step in the landing, a little crooked, but it's a good routine, she'll be happy. Kathy Johnson needed a 9-5 to take over the lead here. And she's been a great warrior, loves to compete, and there it is, a 9-5, she has the lead here. And I think this trick helped her get the lead. This is a back walkover to two somersaults in sequence. Bad form, but a terrifically hard trick. And you can just see the difference in the veteran's poise. Kathy Johnson, she's beautiful to watch. She's been around and with Muriel right now. First, I have to find out if you are pleased. Are you? Carrie, yeah. I was so excited. I'm always complimenting you, but what an adventurous beam routine. The layout layout was just superb. How long have you been doing it? Well, I've been doing it on and off for a couple of years, but um, this is the first year I've really tried to compete it and put it in my routine. All right, does this mean you're going after an international gold medal maybe for the next Olympics or something in beam? Looks like you're really pushing. I certainly hope so. Well, it sure looks like it to me, so hon, good luck, and it was a wonderful routine. Thank you. She's got a terrific yep. smile. As Kathy Johnson, more serious is Tracy Talavera. She needs a 9-3 or better to take over Kathy Johnson's lead right now. And this is Tracy's event. This is the event that has pulled more all-around titles out for her than anything else because she usually manages to hit without too many deductible bombs. She's off to a good start or unusual rear mount to the press. And she extension rolls out and she has lots of poise. 
Her required full turn out of the way with, again, you can see a tiny bobble, but not really deductible. She keeps things down to a minimum. Super aerial cartwheel. And follows that up with two very nice back handsprings. It's an originality to Tracy, a leap clapping her hands. She's a little bit off on the dance steps. Everything seems to be just a teeny bit late. She's having a little trouble holding it in. But so far, nothing that a judge really can get too upset about. the Kurt Thomas flare by Tracy Talavera. A little teeny bit of trouble coming to the beam, but she's pulled it off again. Back handspring, back handspring, layout back somersault. That's a new sequence for Tracy. Very, very well done. Just a little bit poor form in the second leg, but super solid. Here she comes, cartwheels, double twist. The landing position was really too low, Dick, but again, it's one of those things that judges tend to overlook. I think the routine's gonna score very well. 15-year-old Tracy Talavera. Remember, needing 9-3 to take over the lead. Here we can take a closer look at the new sequence. Back handspring, followed by a second back handspring, and then into a layout somersault. New part for Tracy, and so well done. So the numbers for Tracy Talavera. And there it is, enough for Tracy to win her first individual title. You know, she won the all-round championship for the first time. And now she has won her first individual championship, beating Nancy Goldsmith by one-tenth of a point. Kathy Johnson in third. Muriel is with Tracy now. Well, first you can't win a national championship, and now you're adding a second one to your first, the beam championship. How's it feel? Well, I feel all right. <laughs> did you like what you did in the finals better than in the uh, preliminaries? Well, I, in the preliminaries, I didn't do my layout, so I was happy about that, but I think the rest of your team is a little bit more wobbly, so... <laughs> All right, Tracy Talavera has won this event, the balance beam, and Kim Neal earlier won the vault. We'll be back with the uneven parallel bars in just a moment. In and the uneven bars after the preliminary show Julianne McNamara leading Trina Tinty. And you're getting your first look at Trina, who's a Californian, 16 years old and five feet even. She gets set to perform second place right now. Trina is a very, very talented young lady. She's a new elite. She's had some injury problems, and we haven't had a chance to see her as much as I would really like. But she shows a lot of talent and a lot of talent here on the bars to swing. So far, she's off to a swingful and very nice start. Little trouble there in the kip half turn with the leg separation. Ah, that's a stalder with a full turn named a Frederick after Marsha when she introduced it in the World Championships. It wasn't real, real well done. It's pretty good. She struggles through her stalder, under swing, front with a half. It was really a very good exercise, not outstanding. We can take a closer look here at the stroller shoot. She has a little knee bends, and she doesn't come out in the handstand where you'd like to see her, but she makes it. Here's the clear circle. It has a little trouble pushing it out straight. These are small flaws, a little trouble with the feet on the stroller. And here the dismount comes, and she has a nice job in landing it very erect. 9-5-5, Trina Tinty with her performance there. We should be hearing a lot more from her. Here is Tracy Talavera who, of course, clinched the all-round championship with her performance on this uneven bar. And she needs a 9.65 to take over first place. And she just made her Tracy Talavera trick, and she made it very, very well. Here she's setting up her sequence that she's been most known for. That's a staller shoot, and she comes back forward with an endo shoot. Hits her feet on the bar again a little bit, but nothing much. Didn't interrupt the rhythm. There's an uprise to Staller that she just did very nicely, and she dismounts with Kalmanich's dismount, but adds a full twist. It was a good routine, not exceptional. She's getting a lot more poise as she goes along as you see it. She really is. I never could imagine what I thought she was going to look like as a young lady, and it looks like she's going to be a beautiful young lady. There is the front endo shoot with the feet hitting the bar, but again, that's a small deduction, probably just about a tenth if the judges noticed it. Here we see her set up her staller with a little knee bend, but coming out well in handstand. And her dismount, here's the half turn into the full turn, and it's a good dismount. 9-7 for Tracy Talavera. She needed a 9-6-5, so she has taken over the lead. There she is uh, helping Julian McNamara. They're friends, of course. They train together with the Mulva Hills in Oregon, and you're looking at those two who have been the last two all-round champions in the American Cup, 80 and 81. Tracy, of course, in 1980. But here is Julianne McNamara with Dick Mulvihill up front. 
She needs a 9-6 to take over the lead. And as you look at her preliminary scores, counts 50% along with what she'll do right now. As I've said before, I believe that presently, with the girls who are competing now, Julianne is just about in the class by herself in this event. She has lots of strengths and abilities that no one else does right now in the international scene. It was a high start to a giant swing. And her little originality, the hop with the eagle grip to a beautiful stalder that people can't do when they set up without that hard thing in front. Just good. Really good. Here's usually where she has a little trouble. Here she is coming into endo shoot lots of times. A little problem here, but it's coming off well today. Real nice pirouette. No problems. And setting up her dismount. Stay with it. Whoops. That little stall on the top of the bar would be very minor, but very minor. Confidence plays such an important role as we see Julianne again. And here she's coming over the bar to begin that real difficult sequence at the end. Notice that her grips are turned around to under grip, which makes this sequence so difficult. And here she makes the turn from this handstand successfully, which meant a lot to her in this routine. 9-6-5 gives Julianne the lead. Good performance for Miss McNamara. Redhead from California, 15 years old. Now Kathy Johnson is getting set to perform. Kathy, of course, has been uh, American Cup winner and U.S. champion. She needs like a 9-9 nine, nine to win. I think she's just looking to move up in the best way she can. Which will mean a lot to Kathy because this event in the past has been not a strong event for her. This is the event that's prevented her from getting a lot of all-around wins. And just being able to make, for example, the next trick, this is called a Delchev, and she hits it. Being able to be in the bar finals and, and having a chance at first is really important to Kathy. Here she's getting ready for her dismount. Double twisting flyaway. Had a little trouble on the landing, but indeed a very difficult dismount. She pulls it up. All that Kathy's worried about is how far she can climb up. I like the way she gets on. She has so much class, so much straight legs, pointed toes, so much composure. Our country really needs for her to stay around through the Los Angeles Olympics. Here we can see her doing her giant swing and getting her grip set for that very, very difficult Delchev somersault. Right here. Nowhere close to the 9-9, but she doesn't seem overly upset. No, I don't think that's what she expected to win. I think she expected to try to do very well. So Julianne McNamara has defeated Tracy Talavera to win the individual title in the uneven bars with Trina Tinty coming in third and Kathy Johnson fourth. And now as a a little bit of a change of pace. We want you to take a look at, yes, that's that's a guy, Paul Hunt, who's a Big Ten champion out of the University of Illinois, and he entertains the gymnasts, and uh, the girls just line the mat watching him perform. He's quite a showman. <laughs> I wanted to let you see that first tumbling pass before I explain to you that this routine imitates many famous routines. The first one, Nancy Thesis, 72 Olympic routine. Famous dramatic end with a stomach grab, which is 
showing that he really needs. Paul Hunt from the Big Ten University of Illinois never fails to entertain, and we will see some real floor exercise competition when we come back in just a moment. The women, the graceful and melodic floor exercise, and Kelly Chaplin from Albuquerque, New Mexico, has a lead here, but it's uh, really up for grabs as we take a look now at Kathy Johnson, who fully remembers her performance in the all-round championship because Kathy remembers she was in the lead, and all she had to do was a clean performance in the floor exercise, and she fell, and it cost her the title, and it shocked everyone, Mary. It sure did, because Kathy's a bronze medalist from the 78 World Championships in this event, and it is her best event. Nobody expected this kind of a thing to happen. Now she's going to have the same pass, Muriel. Let's take her through. That pass will be the center pass. She'll mount with a different one. Her first pass, just four and a half twist, through a double twist. Very well done. No question about it. Again, when you watch Kathy Johnson, you appreciate the artistry and the beautiful form. And here's that very crucial tumbling pass, round off back handspring, double pike. And boy, I don't think you'd do it any lower in terms of the landing and make it, Dick. I think that was called determination. As you watch Kathy, imagine yourself taking a photograph, stopping her at every moment. And each time you would click, her legs would be straight, her toes pointed, and her position is beautiful. That's what makes her so special in this event, her absolute perfection and her personal feeling. This time, round off, back handspring, double twist, a little bit of the crossing of the legs, but very well then. And now we can watch Kathy do the end that Paul did. Only this one is for real. And a bit more graceful. I think so. All right, good performance by Kathy Johnson. We made that one count following her mishap in the all-around. Very fine performer and a great symbol of gymnastics. And here we can take a look at that very crucial double back in the pike position and just see how close she was in terms of making, not making it. Here we can see already that it's better than what she did the first day. The round off and the back handspring are crucial to making the double back. She does a much better job than she did in the preliminaries. And here we see her coming around. And boy, if she wasn't flexible, that trick wouldn't have been possible. And her score is 9-6. Good performance. You've got to be pleased with that. So Kathy Johnson right now is our leader with a 9-6. Now we're going to take a look at Kelly Chaplin. You haven't seen much of Kelly. She's from Albuquerque, as we said, 16 years old. First time on the national team, so she's getting her first exposure. And she needs a 9.55 to take the lead from Kathy. We're going to have an immediate difference in feeling, because Kelly's music is not of the classical variety. And Kelly's first tumbling effort. Double back somersault and tuck. And she does a nice job of it. If I had to say, what does Kelly do best, I would say it's getting up off the floor. The leaps, jumps, and the tumbling movements are all up high where they belong. It was a double turn, which is important to her getting her full value for her routine. Another nice jump. And here she's tumbling again, round up back handspring, Arabian in tight position, and a full twist, and she did the pass very nicely. perfect body positions just aren't quite there. We can see that she still has to get those things to a much finer level. Last tumbling pass, a double twist, a very well done double twist, very good form, very good height. 5-1, but she looks taller than that. Well, she does, she looks bigger than she really is. That actually is a value in gymnastics, Dick, and makes her look a little more important. And here we can take another look at Kelly's tumbling pass. 
I believe it's the middle one, yes. It's a round-up back handspring, Arabian, which is a half twist to a front somersault. She gets a little stuck, which we can see better in the slow motion, but that comes back with a very nice full twist. And a 9-4 for Kelly Chaplin, not enough to take the lead. Kathy Johnson has it, so we've had Kim Neal win the vault. Tracy Talavera capture the balance beam. Julianne McNamara won the uneven bars. Who will win in the floor exercise? Stay with us and you'll find out. Champion the floor exercise. This the fourth and final apparatus. Kathy Johnson has a lead over Kelly Chaplin. And uh, we are about to see now 15-year-old Michelle Goodwin from Reading, Pennsylvania. She was sixth in the Junior Nationals last year in the floor exercise. And Vic, she's a very not-known young lady, but she's been working hard, improving herself over and over again. Eventually, people are going to start remembering the name Michelle Goodwin. I like her floor exercise because she makes a direct funnel attack on every aspect of floor exercise. Here she starts with double back somersault and hits it comes out now with movements that will be difficult, not just easy, a balance. We can see her flaws are in the foot and the beauty area. She still has a lot of refining to do, but a beautiful high tour jeté and a lovely hop with a full turn and make those movements so hard, not just so easy. They take a lot of energy, and that's why I admire her so much, that she works hard for that. Second pass, one and a half twist, to full twist step out, and things look very good. It's a very well done double tour, which she gets difficulty credit for, and a very beautiful full turn. And a very nice two and a half turns on her hands. She did that very beautifully with control. A little bit of a balance problem there, getting ready for her last tumbling pass. Double twist, and she did a dynamite job on it. who needed a 9-6 to take this title. How do you think she did, Mira? I think she's going to make it. And here she is running over to her coaches. Tom McCarthy, I'm sure, is very happy. It's been a lot of work for them to get to this point. And now we can take another look at her very first tumbling path. It was a double back in the tuck position. Here we can see that she has lots of height, lots of amplitude. She still lacks a little bit in having perfect form. Her legs should be tighter, her feet better. The thing I particularly like about this tumbling pass is that she jumps out right from here to the lunge, but she uses her shoulders in rhythm with the music. It's a finesse point that's very, very nice. And as you can see, Michelle Goodwin has won the U.S. National Individual Floor Exercise, and this has to be the high point in her career. She won it by five hundredths of a point over Kathy Johnson. A red-letter day for Michelle, who is with Muriel right now. Well, it's a nice thing to be able to ask you, how does it feel to be a genuine national champion? It feels really good. 